from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Still off to a pretty chilly start this morning, but we are going to be warming up later this afternoon, about 10 degrees about what we saw yesterday. High temperature yesterday was 71 degrees, so today we're going to reach the upper 70s and lower 80s across the area, but then that bigger warm up going to come by Friday ahead of another cold front, and we'll talk about that, but first let's get a look at your temperatures this morning because it is pretty chilly right now, 38 degrees in Spur, 43 in Lubbock, 41 in Leveland. But check out Tulia. Usually they're pretty chilly. Right now they are at 49 degrees, so feeling almost like the 50s across the area uh, this morning, but still may need that heavy jacket. Luckily, though, winds aren't that gusty and that strong like we had last Friday morning when we had feels like temperatures into the teens and 20s. So these relatively light winds are making it feel a little bit more like that actual temperature. Waking up this morning in Denver City to mostly clear conditions, really not any clouds across the area, and you could clearly see that here on our satellite and radar. Most of the clouds are actually off into the rolling plains and well off to the east of West Texas. So going to be a really nice one today. We're going to keep that sunshine all day. That'll allow for temperatures to warm up pretty nicely this afternoon into the upper 70s and lower 80s. But we are going to be watching for some changes on the way, tracking a cold front that's going to move on through by tomorrow evening. That's going to pretty much drop our temperatures by Saturday about 10 degrees. Ahead of that cold front, though, we're going to watch temperatures spike up into the upper 80s and mid 80s across the area. So this is front actually number one. We're tracking two fronts. Once that first front pushes on through, temperatures will actually be into about the mid 70s by Saturday. Warming back up once again into the 80s by Sunday ahead of another cold front by Sunday evening. That'll move on through, giving us much cooler air by two by Monday. In fact, high temperatures expected to get up into the upper 60s and lower 70s by Monday, but then winds will turn to the southwest and that will allow for those warming conditions and looks like we will actually warm up by Tuesday. So take Take a look at the next five days. Really, that roller coaster ride in temperatures today about 80 degrees, 86 on Friday, dropping down into the mid 70s by Saturday from cold front number one, and then we'll warm up again before cold front number two moves on through by Sunday, 81 degrees. And once that second cold front moves on through by Monday, temperatures will be into the 70s. Keep in mind, if you are going to be heading to the Texas Tech game on Saturday, kickoff is at 11 a.m. This is the temperature by kickoff at about 63 degrees, but then when we wake up this morning or Saturday morning for early morning tailgates, temperatures are going to be into the 50s. So yeah, you may need a light jacket or a little bit of a heavier sweater by Saturday morning, but then you could take it off, especially as we head into the latter half of the game when temperatures rise up into the mid 70s. For today, though, high temperature of about 80 degrees under abundant sunshine, a little bit breezy, though, with that southwesterly wind at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Today, we're going to fall into the mid 50s, so a little bit warmer than we're waking up to this morning, about 54 degrees as your overnight low tonight. With, temp with the winds picking up at about 15 miles per hour sustained. Once again, from that southwest wind and ahead of that cold front, temperatures are going to reach the mid 80s tomorrow, dropping down about 10 degrees on Saturday, warming up about 5 degrees on Sunday, then dropping another 10 degrees on Monday. Looks like maybe even warming up another 10 degrees by Tuesday and then Wednesday back into the mid 80s. So up and down, up and down, <laughs> but thankfully it's not that drastic as we had last week. When we had temperatures fall from about the 80s and the 70s into the 40s and 50s. So about a 10 degree drop, but still though, still trying to get off of that roller coaster, have a little bit more of a consistency, but not looking like that yet. Yeah, I always know I have to hang on tight when I hear Kellyanne say up and down about four <laughs> times in the same weather forecast. So yeah, hang on tight. We're riding riding the wave. And like Kellyanne said, at least those waves are not too dramatic. Yeah, it's not that bad. 86 honestly isn't even that warm either. I mean, for this time of year, yeah, but it should be really nice when to get outside. Yeah, maybe save all your outdoor activities for that day. Yeah. Kellyanne, thanks.